We have a class called Engineering Design and Development, and in it I challenge students to come up with a real world problem and solve that problem. We were presented with the challenge to design a, an art easel so that Miss Jones, that's a teacher in the exceptional education group here at the high school, so that they could be able to really um, work with Tim, who's a student at the high school, who has cerebral palsy more easily because the way the, um, the former art setup that they were using involved her having to hold a lot of things and moving his arms around and it was, it was just really uncomfortable for both Tim and Miss Jones to be able to work with. His field of vision is limited to um, a space that's up around his forehead. So in order to see what's in front of him, he drops his head so that he is really looking right here. So to look at a piece of paper that's flat on a table, he was having to curl up, you know, excessively, which is not at all good for his, you know, physical posturing. It's a art easel for people with cerebral palsy or other handicaps under a physical disabilities that can't hold their arm up and do art by themselves. If he's, you know, needing to get to the left side of the paper and his arm's only reaching a certain spot, I shift the paper. Well, that's me interfering with his work. So the work wasn't 100% his. With the adaptive easel, the work is his. It's genuinely his. I think we'll be able to build more easels and we'll be able to get into some of the other schools, possibly the elementary school and the middle school. One thing we've learned is that engineering is problem solving and there's lots of problems in the world and by solving those problems we can help people like Tim. Everything's just, you know, problem solving. It doesn't matter whether you're solving a problem building a bridge in a third world country or if you're, you know, solving something to make the next iPhone case. I've learned that engineering can help just more people than what mainstream media puts it as.